Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to the penultimate episode of the Fantasy Village Let's Build. That's right, guys, we're on episode 24 today. I've been saying for the last few episodes that this is going to be a 25-part series, so we're here on the second-to-last episode today, ready to continue to make some building progress. I'm going to be working more on interior today, specifically with the interior of the church. We're going to build that. I don't think it's going to take very long, so we'll probably get to something else afterwards. But before I start anything, I'm going to go through a couple of quick updates for you guys. And I'm going to just check off the stuff that's finished in terms of the interior. So um, all of those builds over there are done. All of these builds over here are done. All three of them have been furnished. In fact, I furnished this one right here. This one's got a single floor. I actually really like the way this one turned out. It's got like a big open floor plan. Um, this is This is probably my favorite interior so far i really like that one um over here is another interior this one's got two levels and we have the bedroom up on the second level i believe this one actually carries two beds yeah so this house has two beds um and then of course on a lower level if i can actually get down the I've, I've been having like a really hard time getting down ladders on pc recently anyway um this is the first floor you know it's got everything that we need so those are the two houses and that one's already been done for a while and then also the blacksmith forge house is done on the interior as well. So I added kind of like some extra stuff over here. We have some posters and things on the wall, some armor stands. Maybe this is kind of like the model of what, you know, this blacksmith makes. He makes really nice armor. He's got another um, grindstone here, another anvil, another smelter. And then, of course, the interior is basically just like a normal house. Um, you know, it's pretty small in the interior. Actually, it looks like a bigger build than it is, but it's actually not that big. Got the bed on the second level here, and then we just have like a small kitchen and a table. It's pretty simple. Um, this house is a little interesting because of just, it's pretty big on the exterior, but it looks big because of the, the balcony and everything and the, uh, you know, all the, um, the porch areas, but it's really not that big of a build. And the interior on that is done as well. That one's been done for a little while. The tavern is not done yet, but that won't take long. That one's finished. That one's finished. Uh, the, th that one we did, I believe last episode, right? We did this one last episode. Um, and then this one is not done either. So we're getting real close. We're about halfway done with the interiors here. So I'm going to do with the church today. And if I get that done, I might actually finish up the farm area, maybe do the interior of the silo or the farmhouse, get the farm area complete. Um, and then I'll, I'll start to work off camera on the Imperial keep as well as the inn to kind of wrap things up. Um, those builds are going to take a little bit longer. I'll probably do those off camera and on live stream and next episode is going to be kind of our final episode where we'll go through and just add like the last finishing touches of this world so uh, let's go inside the church here and see what's going on so uh we have the interior right here which i think turned out real nice i, I really do like the way the church is on the inside it's uh it's cool so we're gonna do something with this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab some spruce wood i'm also gonna get some some let me get to the uh the search bar here Let's get some spruce wood slabs. Let's grab some some stone, which is right at the top here. And we'll grab some spruce wood stairs. We're gonna get all the sprucers. The sprucers will spruce the place up. Uh, let's get some of the oak leaves as well as the anvils. Um, not, not, not anvil, anvil with an N. And what else do we need? I think that'll be good. Actually, I kind of want to get a brewing stand out if we can... If we can find one of those, that would help as well. Okay. Also, one more thing. One more thing. Let's get a redstone torch for a candle. All right. So, we need to first start by building an altar. I'm thinking I'm going to go like two blocks away from the window here. Take it out four. Run it across this way. Until we get two blocks away from the window over here. And then I'm just going to basically just build kind of just like a pedestal up here. Just like a... A platform and then in the middle of this kind of lined up with the windows I'm gonna take this up three three by two and then behind this I'm gonna put some stairs that's kind of like a table I'm gonna put a brewing stand here a couple of candles and that's gonna be our altar for the church <laughs> just like that it took 30 seconds it looks great all right and then on the sides here I'm gonna do some anvils and don't worry about the um, the white anvils I can switch those out later, but I definitely want to add some of those. So that looks nice. And we have the um, the colored glass in the background too, which looks very cool. Um, we also need to get some paintings out. That's going to be something that we're definitely going to need on this build. 
And I'm also thinking about doing uh, some cobblestone walls and maybe put a couple more crosses on the interior. Um, so we will do that as well. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do right here maybe. Have it go down like that. Put one right there. And we'll do another one on this side as well. Something like that on the walls. Yeah, that looks real good. That, looks, that fits nicely. And then I was thinking that we definitely can't have a church here without the imperial flag, of course. <laughs> like that. I'm also wondering, like, if we can use some of these other paintings as something. I don't know. I, I want to use the large paintings at some point on this build, like on this series. I think I'm going to probably save these for the Imperial Keep. Like, that one right there could be real nice on the Imperial Keep, um, potentially. I like that one a lot. Um, I was thinking maybe, like, some dungeon doors, possibly. We could use those um, those handles, if I can find those again. You guys saw it a second ago. This one right here. If I was building, like, a big dungeon door, I can put those as the handles which i think would be pretty cool i don't think we actually have anything that has like fake doors i'm pretty sure even the imperial keep has just like a small little front door here yeah it does so <laughs> that's fine all right so let's go back inside let's finish up this church interior it's going to take like another two minutes to do this definitely going to be able to do some more things this video all right uh we got to get the stairs back out here so let's go ahead and grab this we're not going to need the brewing stand anymore and let's start placing some of the rows of seating. So let's do this going out to there. That's one, two, three, four, five, one block away from the wall. That should work out pretty good for this. Right there. And that leaves us three blocks down the middle, which lines up with the altar. I might put some sort of carpeting in there, possibly. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the rest of this. So that's going to go all the way to the end. That literally works out perfectly. This is going to fit this space excellently. All right, we're good. And then we just got to figure out how to light this place. I'm going to add some chandeliers, I think, is what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm keeping the the, uh, the church interior real simple. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be this magnificent cathedral. That's never That was never the uh, objective of this build, was to do that. So I'm totally okay with what we got. All right, so that looks pretty good. We have our rows of seating. So now we just need some... Let's put some more candles down and some spots. Actually... It'd probably be wise if I use torches. They cover a little bit more space in terms of lighting, and they probably look a little bit better when they're on the wall than the candles do. Candles look good on uh, a table. All right, so we have some lights right there. I'm wondering if I should put some more. Maybe I should put like a, can a couple of candles up there or a couple of torches on top of the crosses. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so last thing I want to do for this is add... Well, okay, first off, we need to do, we need to do some... I was thinking about maybe a couple more um, paintings on this wall, possibly. Or maybe a couple... Maybe we could add another cross on this wall, possibly, on both sides. That could potentially look interesting. I was also thinking about doing uh, a hole in this. Since this goes up three and just punching this all the way through. And this was going to be access to the roof. Um, possibly. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to work, but... It was an idea that I had just to access the roof. Maybe maybe it's not going to work. So let's just kind of close this back up. Maybe it's not. I might tr try something else with that later. But let's just get it filled back in with a cobble. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is add these chandeliers. Let's do that first. We're going to need some spruce fences for this. And the torches. It should be pretty simple. So I'm wondering if I should have it go... Like this is a two block... Or a four block gap which is a little bit of a problem so i'm wondering if i should have a chandelier two chandeliers coming down from each one of those log beams i think that's what i'm gonna do so we'll leave that how it is so hopefully one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so that is lined up in the middle of the room i did make sure that it was an odd number so i don't really know why i was even counting that but just just taking uh, the necessary precautions before we make any big time mistakes. But yeah, guys, we're getting pretty close to the end of the village. Um, and like I've said a couple of times before, we're gonna I'm going to have this on Xbox. I'm going to have the download for you guys when it's done. I'm going to have a download for 360 and PC. And then, of course, with that 360 download, you can convert it over to Xbox One, which I will be sh I'll be probably doing that um, as a video. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the city texture or the, the fancy texture back on Xbox One. 
and um, we're also going to do a hide and seek on it, and maybe some other things planned as well. We'll do a final tour video as well. Alright, so we got some chandeliers coming down from the beams, which I think is good. I'm thinking that that's pretty good for this church interior. Um, should I add a couple more uh, cobblestone crosses on this side? I probably should. Let's see, do I want this to go... Well, it needs to go across three, so maybe maybe that right there is where we're going to place it. Can't can't hurt to add a couple more of these on the, that wall to kind of just add something to it. I like how it's cobblestone too, so it doesn't like necessarily stand out, but you can kind of see the the uh, you can see them, but they don't stand out, which is what I like. I think that looks good. All right, so this is the church interior. Real simple, real simple. Good stuff though. I love the way this turned out. So as far as the access to the roof, we we probably should make some sort of like ladder or something that connects to the roof. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I'm just thinking like it would probably be smart to maybe connect it up here or something, but maybe I'm overthinking a little bit. Honestly, I think this is pretty solid. Thinking about, we definitely need to add a few more things though. Let's add um, some quick little seating here. Let's put a couple in, three in front of the window, four there, that works. And then maybe a couple of uh, Dan Bill's Anvil's Fantasy Texture Pack version, or uh, sorry, na or Conquest. That's the texture pack we're using. Best texture pack. Probably the best texture pack that exists. It probably is. All right, there we go. So we got some extra little bushes on that wall. And I was thinking maybe running an anvil down the middle or uh, a chandelier down the middle of this, but it's. I don't think it's gonna look very good. So I think we'll go with that. Maybe even a carpet in this space here, but I don't know. I think it looks fine, honestly. I'm pretty. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, one thing I might just do real quick, just because I'm kind of a... Sometimes I just feel like leaving out details is bad, so... Let's just do a little design here. Classic design. It works It works in the default. It'll work here in the Conquest as well. Let's go ahead and uh, put some... Hold on, let me pick block this before I break it. That way we can just place it right back. So we'll place that there, and that there. And that looks pretty good right there. So now I'm going to put some spruce wood stairs in the ground. All right, there we go. Just a little detailing tactic. I think it looks pretty good. So there's our church interior. Simple as that. Place these as well. There we go. Simple, but it looks great. I'm happy with this. I was thinking about maybe putting even a cauldron out in the front of this as well. Just real quick. I don't know exactly what this would be. But I feel like just putting a little cauldron there might might be a good idea. All right. Anyway, that's good. That is good. We have ourselves a church design, interior and exterior. I love the church. I thought it turned out real nice on this build. I I love the uh, the cobblestone stone brick, regular stone combo with the blue glass. The blue glass was the kit was the uh, the crucial decision. That we went through like all the glasses on my stream to pick one, and that was definitely the correct choice. But all right, so another brick in the wall, I guess. Um, that's another interior completed. So let's go ahead and work on another interior. Let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to spend five more minutes working on another interior. I'm um, also keep in mind I'm going to be adding a couple more houses here, but they're going to be um, like re reoccurring designs. So I'm probably going to take that one where my cursor is on, and I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to put them next to each other on the side of the riverbank here. Put one here and one right here next to the Imperial Keep. Should look pretty nice. And those are going to be the final two houses and then, of course, interior. So let's come over here and take a look at the uh, farmland. So this is done. The uh, the crazy looking windmill, which I don't 100% sure if it fits the town, but um, it's a classic build that I wanted to add. So we're going to keep it. Um, so that's done. The, f the barn is also furnished, I believe. As a matter of fact, we got uh, we got Jeb over here. Jeb has finally been moved to... Uh... <laughs> He's finally been moved over to the farm, so that's good. There is a horse stuck in the ground over here. What? How did this happen? Okay, I'm going to ask you to move a little bit so I can put this fence back. Turn a little bit. Don't make such terrible noises. I'm not trying to hurt you. Just turn a little bit. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 
You can do it. Come on, come on, horsey. This is terrible. All right, wait. Can you just get out of the, the ground? Come on. Get out of the ground. Get out of the ground. Okay, this is this is making things worse. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. All right, you know what? I'm going to fix that later. Holy moly. What the, where'd you come from? Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look here at the silo interior. So, silo looks great. Uh, happy with the way this turned out. But we need to make some sort of, like, system where um, you can get the hay to the top, right? So, we're going to do something like that. I don't know exactly what to do for this. So I think I'll just do the interior of something I know that I know will work out good. And that is this build. So here is the farmhouse. And this one, I'm just trying to make a decision whether or not to have uh, this place have two floors. So if I were to add a second floor, I'd probably add it honestly on this level right here. And, and do this. I'd place... Um, a 5-1 and then I would take some let's get some ladders out real quick get those ladders out punch open a hole in the floor and then I'd probably just have this as the second level I'll put the bed up here uh, we could probably just add some torches up here just so it's nice and light probably put the bed up here some chests and things like that it's definitely a lot of space we can add multiple beds might even add some windows up there as well and then on this first level we can keep these windows here and just have this is a big room honestly we can probably even cut this in half make a wall this is not a this is probably one of the larger houses in terms of interior space so let me just take a quick uh, look up here if i was to punch some holes open through this roof would that be a viable option you know i don't think it would i really don't i don't think that's going to be something we're going to want so let's go ahead and just pass on that and let's do wait hold on a second are we going to do a um a basement for this as well i believe we are i believe there was going to be a basement for this build so large interior let's grab some stairs here might have to this is going to be the same as most of the other builds in terms of the interior design though so it shouldn't be too bad all right so let's go two blocks away from the edge here and let's just take a, a staircase and run it down in fact we could probably have a staircase that goes up to the second level as well since we have so much space we might as well just add one instead of just a silly ladder so we'll add a staircase down here. Uh, I want a lower level of this build. It's like a cellar. For sure. For sure. So we'll put the stairs there. And then I'm going across here. Instead of having these misplaced blocks, we're going to do this. We'll have this run down to there. And then run across here. I could probably do that around the whole edge of the build. Potentially. Like do it over here as well. That way it kind of matches the other side. Even though there's not going to be an opening in the floor. I think that's probably the best thing to do. All right, so we got ourselves a staircase here, and that looks pretty good. I probably will end up placing those two blocks back and having some sort of design going around this, just so you know, just so you don't fall down the stairs. Do something like that. Maybe even put some stairs there. I still think I can pass through that. Absolutely can. So there we go. That looks good. We can put some extra storage against the walls and stuff first level second level down here we can open this up this was probably like the original plan but down here it's real dark so let's go ahead and uh, torch this place up for a second and I'll lay down a floor down here as well so this is gonna be only a three block tall ceiling we can actually lower this even further uh, I can take this down one extra block if I would like and make this the floor so I think that's what I'm ultimately gonna do so let me just uh, break some of this open real quick and we can get this done all right, place some of those there. We're gonna, it's gonna go dark in here in a second, guys. Again, but I'll, I'll light the place back up. Just getting some of the logistics of this place sorted here before anything else. All right, so let's go ahead and place some more torches back down here. Light this place up. So right, we're right on the edge of the water, which is something that we're gonna have to, uh, to change. All right, let's go ahead and do a little five-one action. There we go. We're going to get some more cobblestone put in on these uh, dirt blocks here. Get this uh, settled. That goes all the way around. There we go. And there's our cellar. This is solid. This works out. I can honestly even double stack this down here as well. Um, just so we know that all the uh, 
all this ugly mossy cobblestone, which looks good on the outside, but maybe not so much on the interior isn't showing. And then of course, I'm thinking about doing some like little windows, maybe like right there, add a window, just a couple of, just to kind of open up some light down here, potentially. I'd have to go on the outside to kind of get those designs, you know, making sense, I guess, but at least getting some of the logistics of this house. And this is actually going to be a pretty large interior. I did not expect this, but, you know, it doesn't look like a big house because it's not tall, but it's pretty large in terms of its square footage, I guess. Square blockage. All right, so uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll open up a couple of windows here, but I'm actually going to place it here instead. That way it's not intervening with the uh, the design of this water mill. And then I'll probably just end up placing some glass blocks there. Probably just some full glass blocks, in all honesty. Place one there. Place one there. Place two more over here, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. All right. Not too bad. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. Got the church interior done. Some updates. Figuring out some of the logistics of the farmhouse. I'll do the, that furnishing off camera. But everything's looking pretty solid right now. Thank you guys for watching episode 24. I'll be back in a few days for the final episode of the series. I'll make that one a long one. It's probably going to be like 30 minutes long or so. Just to kind of wrap everything up. And, and do some final final thoughts on the village before we put this series to a close. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys on the final episode in a few days everybody. It's been Dan Lags. Have a good day, everybody, and peace out.